Yo, what's up everybody out there? I was just looking through my stuff and bringing you three relatively new bait tricks, bait ideas, bait things that I have seen just recently. Always want to bring you the goods on all the goods from the fishing world. Um, but the first thing that I wanted to show you was something that my buddy uh, Roger down there at Crusher Lures just gave me some of these they're called the cajun rig weight now this is a another way to fish the carolina rig now let me give you a better look at what this really is a lot of people don't like fishing the carolina rig because when you break off it takes 700 years to retie three knots it's really not that big of a deal i love the carolina rig but check this out this the the weight here has uh, this brass deal where the line goes through and then it goes through this other loop down here below it. This is a one ounce. They've got, you know, like half, three quarter and one ounce. Uh, but it goes through, the line goes through those two. Then it goes through uh, the swivel. It's just a regular swivel on here. I'm going to try to get it out of the pack for you. Uh, just a regular, you know, just a regular barrel swivel. You can use a spro. Uh, swivel there as well but that's it. it and so you know that thing comes through the water and it acts like a sled you know and the weight doesn't roll over doesn't get snagged in rocks uh he he just said that it i'm really looking forward to fishing it try it in a different couple different places uh, but then the other key to it was this little I'm trying to get the dang thing out of here this little little rattle it's a very quiet a very quiet rattle it's a little rattle it's like a bead you can see that little deal you thread on there he said now you put the big weight on there then you put the swivel on there then you put your leader and then on the end of your leader you put this little rattle on there then you put your hook and then that whole deal together is uh this rattle helps draw attention sound down to your lure and that little that little bead there floats the little rattle floats goes back towards your bait it doesn't float it up off the bottom he said but it helps keep it up a little bit longer than it normally would so as you're dragging it along gets it up off the bottom just a little bit plus it adds a little bit of sound there so that is the cajun rig from crusher lures i think they're available on tackle warehouse and um, i think you can get them straight from crusher but that is a really really cool deal i'm a carolina rig fisherman most of you guys know that carolina rig fisherman this is really really cool to me that's trick number one all right now trick number two nothing really new but one i started fishing the big blade chatterbait the old bbc as they call it um fishing that big blade chatterbait that thing it stays up in the water like the smaller one like this is the, the half ounce the half ounce stays way up in the water column so if you put, uh, you know, something like a twin turbo or, or something with ki that kicks on both ends, um, I mean, really you fish, fish, naked, fish it naked and it would stay up as well. It stays really high in the water column. So when I, when I think of this bait right now, I am not thinking chatter bait. I am thinking this is definitely much more of a swim jig kind of an application not as much as a chatterbait chatterbait i think of is lower in the water column i don't think of the chatterbait as fishing it i'm talking like this this half ounce big blade you can fish it in the top you know eight to ten inches of the water column almost wake it like you would a, a swim jig you can kick it right up in there and it's going to thump and get right up there and it's going to be a real erratic that thing it, it kind of jumps around so that's why i've got the white one right here i'm going to be fishing this bad boy come shad spawn uh i'm going to be throwing that mini swim jig you can count on it it'll be out by the shad spawn but then uh, i'm going to be throwing that big blade chatterbait when i want something a little different maybe i got a little darker water maybe it's real early in the morning i don't i'm not feeling a spinner bait maybe i want something a little bit slower that the big bladed chatterbait it slows that bait down uh and it stays way up high in the water column so when you think big bladed chatterbait think of it almost like a swim jig that's that you know with with the the smaller sizes the half ounce is a smaller uh that is number two number three is this gamakatsu 
Jika rig. Uh, man, this is, it is majorly, majorly, majorly overlooked. Um, the, any kind of a Jika rig, or this is the, you know, the Gamakatsu Jika rig version, very overlooked. Uh, the Tokyo rig has gotten very popular. Uh, man, these things are in there perfect. I try to get them out of here so I can show you exactly what this thing looks like. Um, but the, the Tokyo rig got real popular a couple years ago. Uh, still, I would say popular, but not, it wasn't like a hot, super hot craze right now. Uh, this is 2021. 2022 might be a different deal, um, but I am struggling to get this thing out of the package. All right, here we go. So we got it out of the package. I want to show you exactly what this thing looks like and why it is so slick. Dude, you talk about it, in the pack. Boy, it's in there. All right, so the key is this welded ring that you can see right there. That welded ring is the deal. That is what you tie to. to. You tie to that welded ring right there, and then the weight hangs off of it, and the hook hangs off of it. So what it does is it allows you to fish, uh, similarly, like the Tokyo rig, you can fish 20 pound test, 40 pound test, 50 pound test. It doesn't matter what pound test you throw. It's not gonna affect the way your hook swivels uh, with the bait on it. So you can fish a straight worm, like a quiver or something like that. Um, you know, something like the, the, the quiver, fish something like that on there and the, the hook's going to kind of meander it won't be impeded in other words by the line size you don't have to downsize to 10 pound test to get action in your bait because you tie directly to the hook the jika rig is not like that that hook just still freely flows then you got your weight here uh, and this weight it's on a little snap so you can unsnap it put different size weight on there if you want to uh, you can buy these uh, i think the weight's or you can make your own and snap them on there. If you wanted to put like say a half ounce or three quarter, you can unsnap that off of there. Uh, this is the quarter ounce. I use this a lot when I'm, when I'm target fishing, you know, uh, like around cypress trees, docks, uh, stumps, things like that. You can pitch this bait around. And then when the bait lands, it's it's got that horizontal, it's in that horizontal presentation. It is perfectly horizontal. It's not, um, you know, it's not like this. It's not like this, it's not straight up and down, which may not look natural to them. It's not like this when you're pulling it out, which may not look natural to them. It's gonna be horizontal when it's kind of sitting there. And as you're kind of like dragging it along, the, the bait's gonna stay horizontal. It looks very, very natural, I feel like. So I like the Jika rig, I like the Tokyo rig. Those are, those are uh, good baits. This thing is underutilized. Be sure, like I said, to tie to the ring part uh, you, I would fish it on 18 or 20 pound sunline shooter. That would be what I would do. Uh, and then you can pitch it around with, you know, little creature baits, like a baby destroyer, baby brush hog, things like that. Put a little, put a little creature bait on there, baby D-bomb even. Um, you could pitch that around to cover, or you could take a straight worm, a trick worm, or um, that quiver or something like that and pitch it around. And it's, and it's almost like a beefy short drop shot, if you will. So uh, the Jika rig from Gamagatsu, Trick bait number three. So uh, enjoy those. If you have any other ones or you want to see me do any reviews on any other baits, drop that down there in the comments. I would love to hear more about that because you know I am a bait guru, bait dude. I love looking at baits. I love tinkering with baits. I've got a whole table full of baits over here. Like, look, I mean, you can see that bag. There's just a ton of stuff over there. Some of it, A, I'm not going to be ready to show you yet. Some of it, I don't want to show you. And then some of it I just haven't fished yet, so I can't really talk about it because I haven't fished it yet. Um, but but these uh, these three right here, pretty cool. Figured I'd show them to you. So I appreciate everybody watching. And if you have anything else you want to add or you want to see, be sure to drop it down there in the comments. Thanks.